Good day everyone, this is Ladderix and I'm so happy to see you today. So simulan na natin ang araw by starting the day right. Today, let me share John chapter 15 verse 5. Tara, let's basahin natin together. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Ano ang normal mong gagawin pag ang cellphone mo ay low bat? Siyempre, i-charge mo ito. Try to imagine na yung cellphone ay ang buhay mo. Ang cellphone, pag lagi mong ginagamit, definitely mabilis malow bat. At pag marami naman tayong ginagawa sa buhay, kasama na dyan ang pag sa mga iba't ibang pagsubok, Hindi malayong tayo ay malobat. At pag ganito ang nararamdaman natin, we look for a way para tayo ay ma-recharge. Halimbawa, namamasyal or nagbabakasyon ka para maiba yung laban ng iyong iniisip. At somehow, malibang ka. Yung iba naman ay nag stay lang sa bahay para magpahinga. As in, walang gagawin buong araw para magpahinga. Di ba kaya nga excited tayo pag weekend? Kasi gusto natin masulit ito para tayo ay makapagpahinga or makapaglibang. In short, sa bawat pagod natin or sa bawat pagkakataon na tayo ay nanghihina or nang lulupaypay sa iba't ibang challenges in life, naghahanap tayo ng source of strength and inspiration and even encouragement. Yun nga lang, minsan or baka madalas ay mali ang ating source para tayo ay ma-recharge. Or mali ang kinakapitan natin para tayo ay maging masaya at matagumpay. There's a story in the Bible about a man with two sons. Ito yung kwento ng parable of the lost son or the parable of the prodigal son which can be found in Luke chapter 15 verses 11 to 32. The story started when the younger son came to his father and said, Father, don't you think it's time to give me the share of your estate that belongs to me? Nakakagulat no? Imagine, buhay pa yung tatay pero hinihingi na ng bunso ang kanyang mana. So the father went ahead and distributed among the two sons their inheritance. At nung nakuha na ng younger son ang kanyang mana, umalis siya at nagsarili and he soon wasted all he was given in reckless living. In short, sinayan niya yung pera na kanyang namana sa kanyang ama sa mga hindi makabuluhang bagay. Hanggang sa naubos ito at wala nang natira sa kanya. At siya ay naghirap. At dahil sa gutom, he begged a farmer in that country to hire him. The farmer hired him and sent him out to feed the pigs. At sa sobrang hirap kung ano ang kinakain ng mga baboy na kanyang pinapakain ay yun na din ang kanyang kinakain. At dahil sa sitwasyon na yun, he realized what he was doing at naisip niya na buti pa yung mga servants ng tatay niya mayroong maayos na kinakain at siya naman ay halos mamatay sa gutom. So he decided to go back to his father at dahil alam niya na malaki ang kanyang kasalanang nagawa, ang plano niya is to ask his father to just make him as one of the servants. So the young son set off for home. From a long distance away, his father saw him coming. At nung nakita siya ng kanyang tatay, the father was filled with compassion para sa kanyang anak. So sinalubong siya ng kanyang ama, niyakap siya sa sobrang tuwa, and kissed him over and over with tender love. At tinanggap siya muli bilang isang anak. At sabi ng tatay, for this beloved son of mine was once dead, but now he is alive again. Once he was lost, but now he is found. And everyone celebrated with overflowing joy. In the initial part of the story, very clear yung objective ng anak. He wanted to do as he pleased and to be free from the father's authority. This is the attitude of many people in the world today, but we can see the result. Nakita natin kung ano ang nangyari sa taong ito. Akala niya dahil sa kanyang yaman ay magiging masaya na siya sa kanyang buhay forever. Pero pag tayo ay rebellious, mayabang, stubborn, or matigas ang ulo, in the end, we will be filled with grief and regret. 
At ito rin ang bunga pag tayo ay malayo sa ating Panginoon. Para tayong cellphone na walang charge. That's why in today's verse, God is reminding us to connect to the right source. John chapter 15 verse 5 I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I pray that we will desire a real connection with Jesus. He is the right source and whatever you need today, at anuman ang hinahanap mo at kakulangan sa buhay mo, keep relying on Him and do not look at your situation as impossible. Because with Jesus leading and directing the way, everything is possible. Trust Jesus today and let your relationship with Him continually grow and develop in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that you have been blessed and empowered by today's devotion. Thank you for your time and kita-kits ulit tayo sa mga susunod na araw. Please don't forget to share this video to someone else and together, let's make each day a happy day.